Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we are going to use PLA and fill in the gaps to our 3D printed model. I've tried this before, but last time I tried to fill in the gaps, I actually punctured a hole inside my 3D printed model instead. Now, with more practice, I hope I actually do better this time. Let's take a look at this print. We can see that this print has a lot of gaps in it and it didn't fill in properly. I would take white filament and then fill up the gaps on this model. Let's start. It's pretty simple like what we did earlier with welding the two parts together with PLA. I think I'm actually getting the hang of it. Now that I filled up all the gaps, I'll sand it a bit and then we'll make it into a smooth surface. I think this is actually harder than the welding part. I think I shaved off a bit too much, but it looks smooth. Let's take a closer look at it. After shaving off the excess of the PLA off, I would say it looks pretty smooth and there are no more gaps in between. Here are close-ups for the model in three different phases. At the start, after we filled it, and after we sanded it. Well there we have it, we tried using filament to fill in the gaps on the 3D printed model and I would say it works pretty well. It takes a while to get used to but after you get the hang of it, it's relatively easy to perform in my opinion. So if you don't want to reprint your model, you can try this method. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printed courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out! That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.